Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm here with a new Minecraft mod pack. Yay! I haven't done uh, Minecraft videos in a while, not really. The occasional bit about my events. Um, but this is, I am, I am very excited to share, this is a new mod pack and this mod pack is not released yet. I wonder, I'm gonna say that again. This mod pack is not released yet. It's not out yet, it's not finished yet. It's still being made. So this is just a little teaser, it's a little preview of what is in store. This is Heavens of Sorcery, and this is made by the Phoenix Lodge. Now, those of you who've been playing modern Minecraft for a while probably heard of the Phoenix Lodge because the Phoenix Lodge made not only Sprout, which it did a whole bunch of videos on, but Regrowth, possibly the most popular Minecraft mod pack of all time. So this is going to be a good one, my friends. I have been uh, lucky enough, fortunate enough, honored enough to be invited to uh, do a little bit of testing on this pack, and... Um... And uh, I've been given permission to do a little teaser. Let's, get, let's build a little hype. This is coming. It is being worked on. It is not done yet. So with that said, let's have a little look. Let's have a little peek. Let's see what you have in store. This is obviously a skyblock pack. And I'm starting here. This is the spawn area, which everyone will start in. But you will get your own island. And as you see in the top right there, island for help. I think it's, is it island create? Island... Island, uh, I think it's Island Create. It doesn't actually say on that list there that I can see. I think it's Island Create. Yes, here we go. It's gonna make me my own little island. And here we are. This is my island. And I think you can already tell, my friends, this is pretty beautiful. This is not your standard Minecraft skyblock. First of all, the grass is, uh, Batania. Oh, we got some iron berry seeds here. We got Batania grass. This is infused grass. It's very beautiful and sparkly. It also doesn't do a lot of the same things as regular vanilla grass, so there's some limitations there as well. Um, we've got a bit of water. We've got some of this beautiful metamorphic taiga stone, and the trees are not oak trees. They are dynamic ironwood trees. Dynamic trees are awesome. If you haven't seen dynamic trees anywhere, um, you should definitely check out dynamic trees. <laughs> Just, just, just check them out somewhere. We got light everywhere. These are... Can I not look at them? I can't look at them. Okay, well, we got a light source, a magic light source to start out with. So this island should be safe as long as you don't walk off the edge. And I think even if you walk off the edge, I think this pack... I think this pack has the looping thing. Let's find out if I'm right. Yes. So, you'll still... Oh. <laughs> you'll still splat on the ground. But, oh, there we go. I'm okay. So, good to know, right? The, the leaves broke my fall there. I'm almost dead. That's fine. We'll figure it out. I've, I've set myself on hard mode now. Uh, let's come over here. I was kind of trying to aim for the water, but it's difficult to aim when you're going that fast. All right. So, uh, we've got a quest book. I think it's the... Oh, right. Now I remember. Quest book is in your inventory. <laughs> Presumably when the pack is finished, there'll be some kind of hint about that. So, in any case, uh, Heaven's Journey, first edition. Failing to stop the fall is my greatest regret. Though it may have cost me my life, I was at least able to save you, my child, and now you must do what I could not. Um, so this is our quest book. I don't remember, is it patchouli is maybe? I'm not sure about that, don't quote me on that. We've got, we've got a very cool quest book in here. We've got categories. Um, there are three chapters complete, I believe. And this, we've got quite a lot in them, so this is pretty cool. It's a really nice, um, it's a really nice quest book, actually. Uh, I have few regrets, but burdening you with my final unfinished task is one of them. Yet not even death shall prevent me from assisting you in this endeavor. So we've got an end and a beginning. I'm sorry, I failed you. For all I thought I was capable of, in the end, I could barely protect this tiny fragment of the world. The fact that you live through, the fact that you live, though, gives me hope, my child. Though I am nothing but a whisper on the breeze now, I will assist you, however I can. First of all, this island, small though it may be, holds some key materials to begin re-establishing things. Begin to re-establish things. Take these trees, for example. Though you can fell them with your bare hands, their wood is innately powerful, such that even the crudest of wands carved from it may be of great use. So here we go. I need to make a simple ironwood wand, and it's going to give me a whole bunch of wood, and it even tells me what the uh, recipe is. By the way, these things are sticks. Any, the, these all count as sticks, these branch items. So I just need a planks and two sticks. Sounds easy enough, and it says you can fill them with your bare hands, so let's choose a good tree. Wait until you see, my friends, wait until you see how cool this looks. Uh, how about this one? So we're gonna punch it. Punch the bottom. Oh, I'm gonna need some food soon. What have I done? <laughs> and... Here it goes, here it goes. Check this out, check this out. Timber! Boom! 
boom, it even bounces a little. How beautiful is that? Is that amazing or what? I think we can just make a crafting table in the usual way. We can. Uh, they all drop seeds all the time, by the way. And then... You can see the start of this is already quite different. Quite different than a usual pack. Okay, so... Uh, did this complete. And... I don't think there's any reward for this one. Oh no, it says uh, 20, 20 wood. Did I get 20 wood? I did. I got a whole bunch of wood. Okay, cool. So... We've got all this other stuff. I love this. No such thing as sifting. So let's start with the simple things. We need 20 iron berries. The keen eye, you may have noticed that these trees grow small, hard berries that feel almost metallic to the touch. While they normally grow slowly, the wand you hold should be capable of encouraging the growth of these berries. Simply use it on the leaves and watch the iron berries flow. So this is kind of the, the key mechanic of this pack, which is so unique and different from any other pack that I've played. Let's get to some leaves. I think you just right click and look at my inventory. Look at my inventory, it just fills up with these berries super fast. And also, as you can see, the stack size has been increased because you're gonna need very large stacks of things. So, quest complete, I got my axe. What's next? No such thing as sifting. The trees aren't the only materials I was able to preserve with this island. Look around, water, rock and earth are all part of this too. That wand, it's attuned to the subtleties of this place and can coax the earth and rocks here to aid you. Using it on the stone will reward you with clay, while the earth will indulge you with shards of life lost and seeds to spread beyond this place. So, I need to collect one infused pasture seed, 20 bone shards, and 20 clay. And um, this is so great because it skips so much of the grind that you usually get at the start of packs like this. So the infused pasture seeds and the bones we get from here. So there's a pasture seed. I think I needed 20 of the bones. Let's just let that build up there. Okay, we got 20 bones. And then I needed 20 clay, so I need to get an exposed piece of stone. That's what I'll do. I also love that they go directly into your inventory, so you don't have to worry about them falling over the edge and stuff. There we go. Quest complete. I love that there is no sifting. Totally different type of pack. Tubman. <laughs> I hope you weren't expecting to return things to how they were with a simple swish of a wand. With so much loss, there are limits to what can be done without a, a bit of good old-fashioned physical labor. So there is some grind in this. It's just different grind than you're used to, my friends. Surely you're wondering what is to be done with those berries by now. You can't eat them, I'll tell you that. But for that, you'll need to make a wooden tub and a terracotta drying basin. Okay, so I need a crushing tub and a drying basin. We've got the recipes here, so we get three slabs, two uh, planks there, that's easy. And then uh, three pieces of terracotta, which means I am going to have to... I am going to have to uh, cook them up, right? Three pieces of terracotta. How do I cook them up, actually? Can I make a furnace? I think I have to mine up some of this stone. I think that's what I have to do. I, by the way, I have played around with this a little bit in earlier versions, and the first thing I usually do is go down and build a floor in the middle here, and then start building down there. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on that right now. Let me just get to a spot. Let's take... Oh, I've got my right-click to, to craft a stack, and since we have larger stacks, that means I can craft quite a lot, as a matter of fact. So let's make some slabs, and I'm just going to fill in the bottom here. Alright, there we go. So just, even though you can't really fall to your death or anything, it's just, uh, I just feel better having a floor down here. I have done the bottom slab thing. I'm not sure if hostile mobs can actually spawn here in this kind of overworld area. But, you know, this would be safe. This would be safe. We'll uh, do the, the bottom slab. So I need now, I need to make a, uh, a furnace. So I've got three, which means I need five more of this beautiful stone. And it is beautiful. Just put some floor in so they don't fall down. I'll grab a couple more here. Ba -ba -da -ba. How many is that? That's six, so we need two more. And I think I can grab two right here. Right, oh, right here. This works. And... There we go. So that's enough. I got my little staircase right here. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. And up we can go. I'm just gonna break that. Keep getting in my way. Make a furnace. Oh no. Can I not make a furnace from this? Oh, that's right. I need two clay in there. Okay, see this? You gotta look up the recipes. That's alright. We have infinite clay. So actually, I didn't even need to take out quite as much of that stone as I did, but that's okay. Oops. There you go. And I'll stick the furnace right there. 
And then oh, I need some more wood, actually. I need some more wood. So let's knock down another tree. And I've got an, uh, an axe now, so it'll be a bit faster. This is a real big one. Just... Uh, I do believe that the bigger the tree is, the longer it takes to cut down. There we go. And we should get quite a lot of wood from this one, I think. By the way, you want to be careful with these trees, because as they fall, they can crush you. You don't, you don't want to be under that tree when it falls down, my friends. You better watch what you do. So... Oh, look at this. We were given some charcoal. I don't know what we were given that for. <laughs> Must have completed something. Um, got part of this one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I got that from. In any case... Uh, now we just need to make these three terracotta. While that is going, let's just make the tub. The tub, the crushing tub is going to be a thing we use a lot of, my friends. Alright, that's enough of that. We'll just, let's just make the uh, terracotta here, because we, we need to get moving. I think we're going to make a chest as well. I think we can just make that in the usual way we can. There's a chest. Let's start throwing things in here that I'm not using at the moment. Oh, I got some regular seeds. That's good. Probably uh, make use of that. Throw that in there and throw some backup wood in there. I got two more furnaces as well. Oh, look at that. Uh, I am going to need that. Oh, problem with these dynamic trees is sometimes they do take more than one uh, space. So this is actually kind of bleeding over into this because it is an entity. Okay. Got the terracotta. This is completed. We got the drying basin. Now we're going to be getting to the... Uh, part where we really get into things. We need a wooden bucket now. You can give me that recipe. You are. Slab and two planks. I put away my slab like a fool. What kind of fool am I? There we go. There's my bucket. Oh, I got another drying basin as well. It's kind of hard to keep track. That is one thing about this uh, about this pack is, is because of the way the quests go, the, the uh, quest rewards just appear in your inventory. And sometimes I don't notice. So much is going on all at once. Okay, heating up. One furnace. Oh, I did that already. I did that already. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, that's so metal. So we need a tiny pile of iron dust and an iron ingot. And now, my friends, this is where... Okay, because this is an entity, it does that weird thing where it disappears if it's in the corner of your eye. Um, this is one of the main mechanics of this pack. We gotta jump. We gotta jump. We gotta jump and we gotta squish. This is what the iron berries are for. They're not food. You jump on them until you can't squish them anymore. And this is one of the grindier bits, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Um, we jump until we don't hear the squish anymore. There we go. And then we gotta take this, this iron juice and we gotta put it in here. We can put, yeah, you can put six in each one. Need some more on that one. And then what those are going to do is they're slowly going to dry. They're going to air dry into some dust. And that's how we're going to get our first iron. We're not going to mine for iron. No, no. We're going to we're gonna squish some berries. By the way, these stacks of berries, because the stack limit has been increased so much, the, these stacks of berries can get just hilariously tall. Alright, so we've got some in there already. We've got our tiny piles of iron dust. How much do we need? One tiny pile of iron. We need an iron ingot. Think to make an iron ingot. Yeah. So uh, we need nine of these. We need nine of these. That's six. And this is going to be a loop that goes on for a while. I'm not going to do too much of it now on camera. But uh, I just get whole, whole tons of tons and tons of berries. Tons and tons of berries. And, uh, just for funsies, let's, let, let me show you just how ridiculously tall this can get. <laughs> there is a limit, I think. There comes a point where it stops, it stops rendering anymore. Uh, but I just find that amusing. You can make this gigantic stack. <laughs> how are we doing? Do we got enough? We got enough. We got enough to make, uh, we got enough to make an ingot. So we gotta let those smelt up. Actually, we'll do four there. We'll do five there. Give me another piece of this, please. Thank you. Actually, can I make the tiny charcoal? I cannot. Shucks. 
That is a shame. All right. That'll go a little bit faster. Uh, this is why you're going to want a lot of furnaces. Because you got to make... You got you to smelt up a lot of teeny tiny little pieces of iron in order to get one iron ingot. So, let those go. I'll squish some more. Squish, squish. <laughs> this is actually quite fun. Uh, but we will get hungry. Doing all this exercise. And then as you can see, the drying basins slowly kind of empty out. Get that bucket. You gotta be careful though, because if you overfill them, it will, uh, you can place this iron, this iron juice in the world. There's four there. Come on, one more. One more, give it to me. Okay. Now we have got our very first iron ingot. Huzzah! We did it! That's so metal. <laughs> that is so metal. Okay. Now, now we're gonna get to the fun part. This is a magic-based pack, my friends. And so we need a cauldron. Now, of course, in order to make a cauldron, we're gonna need, uh, oh, we're not gonna need as much. The recipe's been changed. We need two iron ingots and five nuggets. And actually, because of the quest rewards, um, oh dear. We're gonna need, we are gonna need some more, some more, uh, charcoal. That one in there, and yeah, this is just this is just the grind. I mean, it, it's a sky block. There's always going to be a little grind, right? We all know this. We all come to expect a little bit of grind. We just need two more of those. Uh, by the way, these little shards of bone, they become bone meal. So once it is time to start growing stuff and start farming and whatnot, um, you don't have to wait for stuff to grow. You can just bone meal it right up, and I approve of that. Stick that in there. There we go. Okay. So, time to make a cauldron. What were those? Iron gloves. Oh, goodness. Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff in here. I am not even going to even begin to try to show you folks everything, by the way. Uh, cauldron. Let's throw the cauldron there. Let's do some magic. Mana, 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 mana. So, we need a wooden bucket of mana. So, here we go. Using the cauldron is fairly simple, even for a novice. Fill it with liquid, and then add a reagent to transform either the liquid, the reagent, or both. For now, we simply require liquid mana, a coalescence of magics. There should be enough residual magic in those infused pasture seeds to transmute simple water into it for you now. Check this out, my friends. We've got our infinite water source. We throw that in there. Kablam. We got mana. Mana, 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 mana. We did it. So now with the mana... We can start to make all kinds of stuff. It's all about sort of alchemy. Moving forward, you'll need to be able to harvest harder materials than is possible with simple iron. If you can recall, diamond was prized for its beauty before, but it is also incredibly hardy. We can make good use of tools made from it, but first we'll need to collect it. As the composition of diamond and charcoal are much the same, we can use large amounts of charcoal with liquid mana to create small amounts of diamond. So, um, this is... A very grindy process, my friends. And I'm probably not going to show you the whole thing in this video because we're going to run out of time pretty soon already. I do want to show you how we get diamonds, though. So we need nine diamond nuggets. To get a diamond nugget, we need nine, I think it's nine pieces of charcoal. I can't actually read that very well. Several pieces of charcoal, anyway, into uh, mana. This is in-world transmutation. It requires a pool of at least four blocks of liquid mana. So what we're going to need to do... Um, I'm going to want to expand out here a bit, I think. Because we're going to need some more space. We're all cramped in here. Look at this. I should probably make like a double double layer, two floors here. Um, let me let me build up a little bit extra space. All right, so I think this will do for now. So I should be able to throw this in here. Now I am going to need four buckets of liquid mana. That's easily done. There's one. There's two. Now, this is not going to make an infinite source, of course. An infinite source, of course, of course. Three. And... You can also right-click it in, good to know. Four. Okay. So now we've got our liquid mana, and now we need just so much, just so much charcoal is what we need now. Um, there's three. Let's see if three is enough. And also, let's cut down another tree. I should probably plant another tree, actually. I think it's not too difficult to plant. I think I can just plant those seeds on the ground. I'm trying to remember now. Himba! Down it goes. 
Give him my stuff, don't drop it in the water, that would be bad. Okay. Can I just plant the seeds on the ground? I can! There we go. We just plant up all those trees. No shortage of trees. Okay. Let's throw all of that in there. Now let me see, was it three? Was it three? Can I get this in JEI? Fuel brewing, buh, 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 buh. Alchemy? No, that's not it. Basins? No, that's not it. <laughs> There's so much in here, my friends. There's so much in here. We've got roots. We've got so many different magic packs here. Here we go. Charcoal into mana, diamond nugget. Looks like three. Okay, I've got three. So here we go. One, two, three. Look at the magic! Look at the magic. And I've got a piece of diamond. I've got my first diamond nugget, and all I need to do is make nine of those, and I will make my first diamond. How exciting is this? I am going to clear this area out a little bit. Clearly, a lot, of, a lot of tidying needs to be done here. I think there will be a way to make dirt as well. Might even just be compost bins and things. Uh, do we have a recipe for dirt? Dirt balls. Stamping, chiseling, pure daisy. Cauldron. Ah, here we go. I can just turn clay into dirt. Well, that's easy. That's very easy. All right. Have some wild berries. I think maybe the next quest will actually give me a way to get a more. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's working. Let's get some. Let's get some berries. Liquid mana is powerful stuff. So much so that you even find that sometimes the cauldron hinders its effect. In these instances, you can just use any old hole in the ground and let it soak in energy from its surroundings to transform things that are exposed to it. That's what we've done right here. But now you're probably a bit hungry and those iron berries don't do much for one's appetite or teeth. So let's use the mana to get some better food going. Leaves can be transformed into wild berry bushes this way. But you can also make wheat seeds from iron berry seeds in the cauldron. Very exciting stuff. So how do I get the leaves? Can I make... Yeah, here we go. I actually already have one seeds. I'm not even sure where it came from, if I'm honest, but we got it. Uh, can I make shears? Are there wooden shears, or do I need to make iron shears? Okay, well, I can make iron shears. I can make iron shears. We've got enough iron now. That's going to be our first use of iron. Pair of shears. Let's just grab a couple of these, of these folk here. Did I... I didn't get them. There we go. There's one. That was weird. Where did those ones go? Maybe they weren't real. <gasps> okay. A couple of ironwood leaves. And I think it'll be pretty easy. Can I just do it here? I can! And we got berry bushes. Huzzah! Let's just throw some of those down right there. And I believe... These are bone mealable. They are. And if you bone meal them while they already have berries... You get more bushes. And now I got all the food that I could possibly want. I'm not hungry anymore. Look at all these wild berries. I got 43 wild berries just like that. <laughs> so there you go. In a lot of ways, the grind really is reduced in this pack. There is still a bit of grind. There is still a bit of stuff that you need to grind away at. Um, try to pick up this berry. And it's not coming. I think I'm actually going to block off this as well. Save, save a little FPS and whatnot. Oh, that doesn't need to be going over the edge. As pretty though it is. Okay, uh, what do we got next? Actually, sugar, sugar cane seeds, the handful of other seeds available to you now. Maybe you wish to have the means for paper to write things down, or maybe you've just got quite the sweet tooth. Either way, I think you will likely find sugar cane a worthwhile resource to have at your disposal. Seeds for it can be obtained by adding wheat seeds to a cauldron of water. So again, you're getting the idea, folks. Simple transmutation. Let us do this. Um... Iron berry seeds. I have that one wheat seed, but let's keep one wheat seed. Can I do this here? Does it have to be in a cauldron? No. Nope. Oh! Wisdom sapling. Well, look at that. Okay, that's not what I was expecting to happen. I'm still learning, my friends. I'm still learning how this beautiful world works. These dynamic trees, sometimes, sometimes they do make things a little bit difficult. All right, put that down over there. Uh, I guess I have to do that part in the cauldron then. So let's do that. Let's put an ironberry seeds in there, and then, can I just, there we go, get rid of the mana, put in some regular water is what it said, and 
Ta-da! Sugarcane seeds. So obviously I've got some of my first materials here. I can make my first tools. I can build a little farm. Although I got all the berry bushes I could want, so I probably don't need to grow too much stuff on the farm right now. I don't need to grow wheat really, I don't think, but I will need the sugarcane for paper. Um, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there for this one. This has been the first little sneak preview of Heavens of Sorcery. It is a very cool pack with a very unique and interesting mechanics. Um, I may do one more video on this. I'll probably do a little bit of grinding in between and clean this place up a little bit and just kind of show you a little bit more what you can do later on once I get a little bit more advanced in the quest books. We're still in the first chapter here. And there are quite a few chapters already. Um, so, yeah. I'll do that. You folks let me know if you want to see a little bit more of this. Be excited. It's it's not done yet. I'm going to say that one more time. This pack is not done yet. This pack is not released yet. I'm sorry. I know. I know. You want to play it now, but you can't. <laughs> you just gotta be patient. Uh, but it will be out at some point. Phoenix Lodge is working hard on it. So send him some love. Let him know that you can't wait for this to come out. And thanks so much for watching, my friends. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye! Look at these top patrons of mine They're looking oh so very fine And I love them more than you But you can buy my love too Just five bucks a month At patreon.com Then I'll love you too